safety bars are a little high. Kind of felt like going a bit lower, but we're hitting those things. Although, you will definitely thank yourself for setting them up there if you can't get it back up. And we're going shoeless once again. You know, actually, I read a comment on our last video when we went shoeless on some front squats. I was talking about how the heels elevated sometimes forces you to push more for the uh, the balls of your feet. Which a guy made a good comment. He's actually saying it's not necessarily the heel elevation; it's the softness of the improper shoes, which is true. There's Olympic style lifting shoes which have a really hard uh, base to them that are slightly elevated and can actually give you a better proper squat for them. So if you're having problems with squats, maybe get some lifting shoes and try those out. Got the safety belt on. Got a little, a little pack. What's in there? Nothing. Pills, steroids. That's where we hide our roids. <laughs> exactly. We do it more inconspicuously. Instead of we go for the fanny pack, we go for the pocket on the belt, you know, so that way no one can actually, you know, call us out as much as they would in the fanny pack. I think sarcasm probably has to be, uh, you know, known on that one as well. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to be giving anybody the wrong ideas. Dry humor is. <laughs> Dry humor. felt a little wonky on that one but it actually didn't feel too bad as far as the you know toughness of the lift so we might go up why not good old leg press all oh, leg drive we've had actually a question about leg press we did the single leg press tutorial on the buff dudes workouts not too long ago and uh, a girl asked if there was a difference between leg press and squats or what the difference is and it's mainly hip activation. So with this one, your hips are really stable in the seated position like this, and you're utilizing leg drive. So it's really just gonna be the push of the legs, the flexion and extension in the knees. So there's not any really, I mean, there's a little help with the hamstrings and the glutes, but for the most part, there's no extension in their hips, or shouldn't be. It should be placed pretty solid in there. So it's really, a lot of athletes will do a leg press to kind of see where their, their strength in their legs lie because it's just leg pr drive that, that helps do this, uh, this exercise. So kind of a good indication of your, your leg strength, really. <laughs> Felt pretty heavy. When you get in that bottom position, you don't want to come too low because right away you want to be like, yeah, four range motion, four range motion, which is true, but this one's going to be a shorter range of motion um, just because is the, the lower you go, the more your hips will want to rotate off the bench here, and it's going to put a lot of pressure on that lower spine, so just be careful on that one. So don't try to go too low, um, and if you notice your, your hips are rotating, putting some stress on that lower spine, just back off a little bit and uh, decrease the range of motion barbell hack squats. We included these in the program for a couple of reasons. One, it's kind of a unique exercise. Not a lot of people know that you can actually do hack squats with barbell, but also if your gym doesn't have a hack squat machine, much like this gym, this is a perfect uh, you know, variation that you can do. But we're gonna go over a little bit of function on this one in form, just because it is a little different and maybe not everyone knows what it is um, or how to do it. But immediately what you wanna do is have a, a more vertical torso, which is kind of difficult to do. So much like we were talking about the elevated heels on some of the shoes, with this one sometimes if you're getting, having a problem or having trouble uh, keeping a vertical torso, you can put some like five pound or 10 pound plates under your heels to help elevate them and it, uh, and it could give you a little bit better form there. So we're gonna go through a couple, well, we're just gonna go through three reps here and see how it feels. But as you can tell, it's behind you and uh, <laughs> It's in a dead position, so what you really want to do is keep, you know, just about hip width or shoulder width stance, and your arms are going to go right outside your legs there. Nice grip. Here we go.
Well, it's pretty difficult to keep it vertical torso, as you can tell, it's not quite all the way vertical. Um, and you're almost gonna keep this bar and guide it, you know, in a straight line right along here. But once it hits here, you're gonna have to kind of push the hips through at that position there. So you get a little bit of hip extension to carry yourself to the top position. Because if you're still trying to carry that weight up, it's just gonna hit your glutes before you get hip extension. So once you get to about, you know, mid to upper thigh, back of the thigh, that's when you wanna go ahead and extend the hips. Get a good squeeze. You really feel it in the quads though. That's what it's really focusing on. So you'll feel like you're kind of pushing a little bit more at the balls of your feet, which is okay. Cause that's what gives a lot more tension in those quads. We went up, we went up in weight. We don't always know our exact numbers, so sometimes you have to play with it a little bit. And it's kind of nice, you get maybe like more of a warm-up set. Get your form down, especially if it's the first phase. Get comfortable with it, and move on from there. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. funny actually We're getting close to our deadlifting weight <laughs> that we did in like the first day with hack squats that's when you know it was you're having a bad day if your deadlift weight is barely stronger than your barbell hack squats Levels going up slowly. That's what it's all about. It's making those tiny little increments. It can be a little hard, especially for me and Brandon, because unfortunately, we got to get this all on camera. So when we have bad days, well, <laughs> there's no hiding it. We just got bad days. We haven't gotten to the point yet where we're building fake weights for ourselves to look stronger than we really are. So uh, maybe one day when we're riddled with injuries and you know we're walking like this. Maybe that's when we'll just get like, you know, the seven fake plates on each side. But at least for now, we're still trying to push ourselves to the limit. Hopefully we'll never be riddled with injuries. <laughs> that's a, yeah, I should have mentioned that. Hopefully we'll never be riddled with injuries. So uh, just scratch everything I said. Blue bridges, uh, good old air humpers. A little bit of an awkward exercise, but uh, whoop, I'm sorry, I never hooked his foot there. 405. You can do them flat on the floor like we're doing, which is kind of a standard glute bridge, or you can elevate your upper body on like a bench and increase the range of motion. But since we're going a bit heavier, we're just gonna concentrate more on the latter half of the movement, which is kind of the extension into that full bridge position, slight hold, and then let it down to that bottom position, the resting position here. And this is really focusing on those glutes. We talk a lot about hip extension throughout our videos and certain exercises will do that deadlifts squats and well like this for instance it's definitely working on hip extension but what is it good for well it's gonna work not only we're working the glutes it's gonna be working the quads hamstrings a lot in the core on this one too but uh hip extensions and the, i guess just the hips in general are very important to create a lot of power and stability in your body so it's always good to take care of them and not only work them out hard strengthen them but also keep them mobile too because a lot of these exercises will tighten a lot of muscles up so if you're feeling kind of back pain or tightness make sure you do that mobility before your workouts and also your stretching and uh and light warm-ups and stuff like that always helps each weight that goes up on this thing the name change so 405, it was Big Bertha. 465, it's the whale. <laughs> Three reps. <laughs> All right, so we had Bertha, then we had the whale. We're, we're moving up to 495. What we got going on, Brandon? We decided to call this the big bitch. Can you handle her? We're about to find out. <laughs> this one's a heavy one. 
Don't let her get her way. Sweetie, sweetie, time to fill some buff dude food. <laughs> That, you big bitch. Hey, a common mistake on these ones, I've seen a lot, is, actually I'll grab the weight, is getting in this position. They keep the back straight and their hips are moving up and down like here. And then they're like, oh, I never feel this in my abs, which is true, they won't feel it in their abs, but that's why you gotta get a lot of extension and flexion in the spine. So you notice the spi spine rounds as you're crunching in and then you're bringing it out to a side extension. So that's what's gonna really help activate the rectus abdominis muscles. Oh yeah. Uh, Brandon's hair is a good indication of how we're feeling right now. I feel like shit. My hair gains are more than my body gains at this point. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All the new blood flow and nutrition is just going right to my hair. <laughs> I don't know. All that food's just going there. Yeah. But uh I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Today was today was a good day. Feeling good. So one more week on phase three and then we will That's see that magic. magic. Right it's yeah. just Buff Dude's magic right yeah. here. He's le 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 elevating it or levitating it. That's all those gains are giving me power. So I can't hold this for much longer. <laughs> I'm scared right now. I don't know what's going on. Me too. This is actually, now this is actually really fucked up what I'm doing right now. I don't even know how I possess this power. So we'll see you next time. We have just uh, gotten to our next power level. And uh, until next time, stay off. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to make that camera fly that way.